Hi, welcome to the Department of Human Resources instructional video. The purpose of this video is to illustrate how to request a conviction history review using our electronic service request process. An electronic service request is a one-step process for departments to submit forms to DHR electronically. Once submitted, you will receive email notifications confirming the receipt of your request, status updates, and completion. Prior to processing an appointment in eMERGE PeopleSoft, departments are required to certify that the selected candidate is eligible for hire. So how do departments certify that a candidate is eligible for hire? First, you must conduct a pre-employment verification check, which includes reviewing the restriction register, conducting education and employment verifications, conducting a reference check, and completing a conviction history review. Additionally, department or job classifications may require additional reviews, and you will continue to conduct such reviews. So, how do you get the conviction history review started? After your department selects the final candidate or candidates for recruitment, you are then ready to complete the Conviction History Review ESR. You must obtain a Conviction History Review clearance number from DHR before you can complete appointment processing in eMERGE PeopleSoft. The Conviction History Review ESR can be found by visiting the DHR website and clicking on the HR Forum link. Then, go to the Electronic Service Request section and click on the Conviction History Review link. The Conviction History Review ESR is divided into three sections. They are Position Information, Final Candidate Information, and Approval. The form begins by requesting contact information for the authorized department representative submitting the ESR. Let's go through the steps of filling out and submitting the Conviction History Review ESR. Section 1 collects basic information about the department and position. Begin by filling in the job code, then appointment type. For PCS, you will have to enter the certification list number. If temporary exempt and you have multiple headcount, please attach a spreadsheet of the final candidates. If permanent exempt or temporary provisional, just check the box. Now, you are ready to enter the job title, department name, and position number. Section 2 collects information about candidates you're submitting for conviction history review. For each candidate, you will need to enter their name and social security number. You must identify if a candidate is a current city and county of San Francisco employee. If so, simply check the box. As you can see, departments have the option of sending up to three final candidates for a conviction history review. If you choose to send multiple candidates, a delay in processing may occur because DHR will send only one final ESR for all candidates. A delay in the processing of one candidate will delay the results for all candidates. Now that you've completed the form, you must click the box stating, I have chosen to submit this form electronically. Next, enter your email address and click on the submit button. You will receive confirmation that your form has been submitted successfully and will be instructed to add attachments. After attaching your documents, press submit again. You will receive email notifications of the status of your request while it is being reviewed by DHR. So what happens to your ESR request once DHR receives it? If the position is a PCS appointment, DHR will first conduct an audit of your selection to ensure that the final candidate is in fact reachable or eligible to be selected according to civil service rules. Understandably, no audit is required for non-PCS appointments. After the audit, DHR will determine if your candidate requires fingerprinting. If yes, we will email a link to the online scheduler so that you can schedule your candidate for a fingerprint appointment. Section 3 is for DHR approval. DHR will sign and date certifying approval of a completed conviction history review. The EHR PPM Appointment Processing Checklist, ESRs, and other helpful tools can be found on the HR Forum website. The HR Forum link can be found on sfdhr.org.